Check these out. Large and extremely powerful machine guns are what you're about to see. For example, let's take a look at the MK-38 Bushmaster. The advantage that the machine gun has is its power delivered in more than a few ways. If we take, for example, the enormous power carried by the large caliber bullets, the MK-38 Bushmaster is the one that will make holes through any light armored vehicles, helicopters, and self-propelled artillery. It uses 25 millimeter caliber shots, able to fire over 200 rounds per minute. That's three powerful projectiles in one second flying towards the enemy positions. The receiving end has almost zero chance of survival if hit by any of these. Since its dimensions are quite large, it can't be carried by foot soldiers. Its service with the infantry mounted on armored vehicles such as the USM-2 and M3 Bradley fighting vehicles, it's also a popular choice of primary armament for armored fighting vehicles manufactured outside the US, such as Singapore's Buonix AFVs and the Rafael Overhead Weapon Station 25 mounted on upgraded M113A2 Ultra Infantry fighting vehicles. It's 105.2 inches, 2,672 millimeters long, with just the barrel itself, 85.6 inches, 2,175 millimeters, and heavy, just above 262 pounds. The Navy's purpose for the MK-38 Bushmaster is as a defensive and defensive weapon against a large variety of surface and aerial targets. It's highly effective against small, fast-moving boats, floating mines, and shore targets. The effective range of 9,800 feet 3,000 meters of the MK-38 Bushmaster gives the user the comfort to destroy ground targets from a safe distance. Unlike the single-barrel MK-38 Bushmaster, this particular monster has 12 barrels, allowing the machine gun to spit fire at its target at a rate of 10,000 rounds per minute. It's the Russian AK-630 M2 Duet. This is the machine gun with the greatest fire rate of them all, two guns with six barrels each. They fire simultaneously at the same target. Taking into account its size and purpose, it can only be used as a stationary machine gun mounted on naval assets. Being a complex piece of machinery, the AK-630M2 delivers 30mm projectiles at a fire rate of 10,000 rounds per minute. Guided by advanced electronics for better aiming and following the targets, once it locks its target, it'll destroy it in a matter of seconds. With this enormous power, a medium-sized warship cannot survive once it's attacked. The damage that the AK-630M2 causes can only be compared to artillery firepower. This machine gun's purpose is mainly smashing that like button, just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, its purpose is to defend the ships from aerial threats from low-flying aircraft, such as helicopters and low-speed attacking planes, and also supersonic aircraft. It has a range of 13,000 to 16,000 feet. After the distance of 16,000 feet, the projectile will self-destruct. Imagine what it'll look like if that amount of bullets is fired and the majority miss the target. That rain of lead has to land somewhere. The US Army uses a machine gun with equal power, but the opposite of the AK-630M2 Duet, which is the GAU-8 Avenger. It's the main weapon of the A-10 attack aircraft. This is a truly heavy machine gun the size of a smaller car and weighs around 2 tons, making 20% of the weight of the aircraft's 10 tons. It uses the same caliber as the AK-630, but with a slightly different cartridge design, and the projectile is made with depleted uranium, which makes the receiving end vulnerable no matter what kind of armor it has on its side. The combination of the A-10 Endurance and the firepower of the GAU-8 Avenger makes this outdated aircraft the favorite support of the infantry. Let's put aside these heavyweight categories and take a look at this artifact of the war that's the favorite machine gun for many armies. The M2 Browning has been in service for about 90 years. It was introduced in 1933 and has been in almost every single war since then. Although its main service is with the infantry units and against personnel, it has variants that are mounted on vehicles, naval assets, and aircraft. Depending on the variant, its rate of fire goes from 600 to 1300 rounds per minute, with the aerial-slash-naval variant being able to reach the highest rate. The purpose of the M2 Browning is to engage enemy personnel, light armored vehicles, small boats, low-flying aircraft, and light fortifications. The range of fire is 8100 yards, or 7400 meters, but the effective range is 2000 yards, or 1800 meters. 
The number of armies that have the M2 Browning in service is huge. Over 110 countries have it in their inventory. Only small weapons such as the AK-47 Kalashnikov can compete with these numbers. That shows us the true power and the reliability of the M2. There are some examples in history where its precision stood out. One of the lesser known uses of the 50 caliber M2 is a long-range sniper rifle. It was during the Korean War that soldiers were first issued the M2 with special scopes. But it was during the Vietnam War that U.S. Marine Corps sniper Carlos Hathcock II achieved notoriety for one of the longest shots in U.S. military history. An M2 competitor from the Russian side is the Cord Machine Gun, which unlike the M2 Browning is a relatively new type of gun. It was introduced in 1998 to replace the older Soviet NSV machine gun. Although it resembles the NSV externally, the inner parts of machinery are completely new and redesigned. It features a new gas system and redesigned muzzle baffle, allowing the cord machine gun reduced recoil, giving the gun better accuracy during sustained fire. Since its introduction, it's seen all the wars that Russia has been involved in, such as the Chechen War, the Russo-Georgian War, the Syrian Civil War, and the latest war. The all-new construction features lighter materials and a barrel made of high-tech alloy, which makes the machine gun lightweight and minimizes distortion and drop. The barrel is predicted to withstand firing 10,000 bullets. After that, it can easily be replaced in just a few minutes with a new one. All of this makes the cord the most accurate Russian heavy machine gun. It has a length of almost the average basketball player, 6.5 feet or 1.98 meters, and more than half of it is in the barrel. It fires 12.7 millimeter various ammunition with a fire rate of 650 rounds per minute. The effective range is 2,190 yards or 2,000 meters, which is why it's fitted with an optical sight for greater precision on longer ranges. Another great ability of the cord machine gun is that it can smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, it can be loaded from both sides and its mounting device can support up to three cartridges for longer continuous fire. All the previous machine guns needed at least two soldiers to operate or move them onto the battlefield. The Stoner 63-63A is a lightweight gun that can be carried and fired by one soldier. It's wondrous in a few ways. It's the only lightweight machine gun with a fire rate of 1,000 rounds per minute, and the second is its modular design, which means it can be fitted with various elements that allow the Stoner 63 to be configured as an assault rifle, top-fed light machine gun, belt-fed squad automatic weapon, or as a vehicle-mounted weapon. The Stoner 63-63A is supplied with several accessories, including a blank firing attachment, winter trigger guard, asbestos-lined spare barrel bag, cleaning kit, 40mm grenade launcher, and several types of slings, and a wide range of belt box and magazine pouches. Its modular design even features the use of several types of bayonets. The downside is this machine gun can only use 5.56mm caliber bullets. The range is only 218 to 1,093 yards, and the maximum range is just a little over the effective range of the M2 Browning and the Russian Cord. Does the name Kalashnikov ring any bell? What has a Kalashnikov got to do with machine guns? This is the PKM, which stands for Pulmiat Kalashnikov, in translation, the Kalashnikov's machine gun. It's the most commonly used machine gun across the globe. It has a specific value for the U.S. soldiers fighting around the world. It's the machine gun that they encounter in almost every fight. It uses 7.62 millimeter ammunition with an effective range of 1,094 yards, 1,000 meters, and 1,640 yards, 1,500 meters when optical sight is used. The maximum range is 6,374 yards, 4,000 meters. It features default iron sight, but can be fitted with optical night vision, thermal, and radar sights. The fire rate of the PKM depends on the variant, and it goes from 250 to 800 rounds per minute. Some of you may wonder why we didn't mention the GAU-17 of the Gatling machine gun family. Although it's very powerful and we've seen it in almost all 80s action movies, it's placed in the minigun category. It's a funny thing, taking into account that you have to be a Terminator to carry it. Trust me. And fire it from a standing position. Bye for now.